Okay, who gets excited with a bumper like me? Guys, you're Montat. Kita, good morning. How are you? And and why do you know me like this? <laughs> Hashtag is why in the morning. Can I tell you a secret? And no, send them to Sawa. Okay, to Papa TV. And it's not much of a secret because there are like thousands of you watching, but send them to. I think I'm shy. Like, generally, like, when I was going to see somebody I care about. So just imagine we're two girls and then everyone else me ni chali. Alafu eh, I was expecting to be told hi my name I was expecting to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Val. Who are you? Ah ah Nakura Val ne Bro, hi, hi, hi. Cause ni chaga nyiki. I'm like, you're this excited to see me. You don't even know. You don't even know. A white five on Facebook, white five four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is a white in the morning. Now in studio with me because Wednesdays are reserved for special people. Senje ni mrembo. Sao? Tuanze tuwapo. Sao? Okay. Senje akonata? Talanta. Nasim tani. But hashtag is still a white in the morning. Let me allow her to introduce herself to you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Please introduce yourself mm -hmm. to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Grace mm -hmm. Rema, mm -hmm. <coughs> aka Grisel. Mm -hmm. Those who call me Grisel, because that's my social media. <laughs> Everyone knows me as Grisel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a special effects makeup artist. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Can you first take a moment to appreciate how good you look? I like your whole look, all of it, <laughs> all of it, from your hair to your top, to your necklace. To, I just like everything, to your hair. Thank As you. Wait, from when rainbow, good things happen when you watch in the morning. Good things ha happen. Tell us a bit about yourself. Um, like I said, I'm a special effects artist. Mm -hmm. um, I studied in South Africa. <laughs> People here yeah, go to you as you you can't sleep because of English. Yeah, but they are going to South Africa and you're saying it so nicely. Anyway, go bless you. Well, can't the reason you. why I had to go all the way is because there are no schools in Kenya that offer such a course. Mm -hmm. So um, I had to do my research. It was either States or SA. Mm -hmm. So I just ended up settling for South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, studied for a year. Then I came back you know, to launch my career. Okay, just personally, tell me how it is like. How it is like? Yeah. Where just did you to say, live? Joburg. Wait, <laughs> talk to the genie. I want details. How is it in Joburg? Like, like, how is life? Like, what's how? Ulikuna kula nini? Sembe, skuma skuma, managu, terere. Like, what did you eat? What did you do? A lot of takeouts, cause. I was McDonald's. living by my, exactly. Mm. I was living by myself. A lot of noodles, you know. I can, I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> so cooking was very. It wasn't something I will do all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is just easy. There's nothing special about South Africa, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. We had a recent outbreak of street xenophobia, Josie. Have you ever experienced it? A lot. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, uh, but tell me the experience. Mm, this was back in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, it was just the whole thing. They felt like foreigners are still in their jobs, and it was just very dramatic. So we were told not to go to town for some time because that's where they will target foreigners. Um, they kill. They will kill them, especially Somalis, Zimbabweans. Um, so anyone who sells vegetables along the road, they have a problem, but then they wouldn't do such a job because according to them, because you feel your kazi, like you can't, wow. they can't sit and start selling vegetables, but then they also don't want other people to do that. So it was a bit confusing, but I experienced it a lot. Even in school, I experienced it, but I survived, I guess. <laughs> I once met a Tamil Indian. Ojo Tamil, they they look like us. Ngozi out same, but nyole to fault. And he was darker than me, but he asked me, "Why are you so black?" I looked at him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have an answer. I was like, "Are you serious?" Okay, God be with you. <laughs> God be with you. I'm yeah, sorry. I also had someone tell me um, to go back to my country, you black monkey, and it's a black person wow. telling me that. So I was like. We live in a world where we, one person in America, one, 
One person in America, Breonna Taylor, Sijui George Floyd, Sijui who is killed by a white person and the whole world is up, all up in arms and there's a whole revolution. But meanwhile, every other day you hear hip hop artists has been shot, you know. Wosi kwa wosi. South Africa, wosi kwa wosi. Tunamalizana tu hivi kiovio, but we won't talk about it because, you know, do black lives not matter then? I'm just asking for a friend. Hashtag is why in the morning. But that's too deep for in the morning. So tell us why you're here. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to talk about my, my crafts. Mm -hmm. um, I recently just started, well not recently, maybe late last year, I started a school to teach Look at you. special effects mm -hmm. because um, not everyone is lucky enough like me to go study it's expensive it's just financially it's draining so that's why i decided to start the school i have my own product line for special effects okay so i'm just trying to survive <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 i have so many questions so many and i'm very random so i'm sorry if just random questions are mm. popping up but why special effects? Um, the, the makeup industry is a bit... Everyone is a makeup artist. It's true. Every single person. Not that I have anything against makeup. I just felt like it was just too crowded. And with, at that time when I was looking for work, they would ask me what was so special about... Like, why should we give you this job and not... Like, yeah, exactly. Mm. What special thing are you doing? What are you bringing to the table? Exactly. Mm. And I'm just like, you know, foundation, <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> like, there's really nothing exciting. So I had to figure out a way to um, zhuzh up <laughs> my, my makeup. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> to just, you know, up my game kidogo. Mm. So that's why I decided to just not get rid of makeup, but to top up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay guys, okay, first of all, kuna show flani ni kuna penda kuwatch. That was kuna kumbuka, but I just started explaining it to her and she knew what I was talking about. So there's a show called Face Off. And Face Off is basically um they, they give you certain type of tasks and it's all about makeup. All of the ways you from sculpturing, do you nakao varine, kidok dogos do they they use all kinds of random things to m just transform something so if you like horror movies or if they in fact if they freak you out you should watch behind the scenes because it's all makeup and effects nasa nasa na sound you should try watching a horror movie without the sound it's not as freaky trust me and i think the whole process just fascinates me i i love everything creative anything mm. that i can see started from here and then suddenly is is something it's your magic you're just basically magic so I want to ask, perhaps, maybe, have you ever been told that your craft is just, you know, because ignorance is a dangerous thing. Eh? Mm -hmm. and, and if someone doesn't understand special effects or, or the gore or the goo or the <laughs> thingies, have they ever told you, like, form? What's this? Um, yeah, people still don't understand. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like my grandma, she just says I do makeup. Woo! Kwanza ancestors what are you Why? 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 Because special effects includes like blood and all the gore and yeah. all these things. So eh, if you can create something like that, wala is you I know because my mom actually understands. Mm -hmm. but she, she's not your normal she's traditional. Old she's woke mm -hmm. <laughs> she's not your normal traditional parent where you know they live back in the day you know back in the day we used to now mm -hmm. so for her even when i told her i wanted to do makeup she was 100 percent like she's my biggest support system so she's the one who was even watching for me like okay mm -hmm. so what exactly is it like she's never tried to tell me okay if this is not working i'll try you know it's like just keep trying keep trying you'll, you'll get where you want to get to so I hope I owe my everything. Because oh. <laughs> I was going to ask you, there's a time in life where 
kuwa vitu fulani kama DJ or an entertainer yeah. ama msani or even make just random just basic makeup artist ili kuwa tu wewe kuna what are you doing you're wasting your life <laughs> now look at us so <laughs> look at us tell me about your first experience with special effects uh, my first experience was straight I think after school um, this was in early 2016 mm -hmm. I came back 2015 um, there was a lady she's called Sarah she's one who I'll never forget because she gave me my very first gig and she got me off um, Instagram so she said oh they were shooting this short film we don't have money to pay people I don't know if you're interested to come on board I was like of course mm -hmm. I mean it's my first job I can't be there saying how no, mm. I want this much because I don't at that time I didn't even know like the rates, how much product I'm going to use. So yeah, we did, it was a short film for um, a project called 48 Hour Film Project. Um, yeah, that was my very first experience and I actually really enjoyed it. What was your favorite part? Being on set, mm -hmm. working with different departments, you know, this hair, this art, this wardrobe, this... Um, the director, producer, like just blending in with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever had a very difficult client? Like Anna Kwambia, you haven't done this yet. If everybody, you missed the spot. Have you ever had that? For special effects, actually, no, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't, yeah, I haven't. For normal makeup, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> but special effects, no, I haven't um, encountered any difficult because they don't understand first of all what's happening you just go and scan they're like you ah, smart i love it you so smart <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine <laughs> what was your most challenging project my most challenging project um actually had two one was a movie that i did in uganda um it was called 27 guns wait 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 so you get to travel also <laughs> Guys, please do what you love. Please do what you love. Look how happy she is. She's even traveling. Anyway, <laughs> continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in Uganda, it was um, a film based on what happened in the 1980s with the first family and Kenam Seveni and them. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of dead bodies involved, chopped off hands, legs, burnt bodies. So that was challenging, but... Yeah, I did it. Mm. <laughs> and then the second one was um, a project that I did with Boniface Mwangi sometime last year for aging people. Yeah, I, I had to age like 60 people <laughs> in a week. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that was also a bit challenging. What does that mean for you in hours? How did you sleep that week? 60 people in one I week? I did. Seven days. Like, it sounds a lot. I, I don't know. It how. is, but of course you need to have like someone to help you out. Uh -huh. And um, it, it also depends now with the call time, like how early people will get there so that we crack people up faster, faster we go. But yeah, I, I managed, so I'm grateful. I don't want to judge you. But I will just a little, just a little bit. I'm just doing this out of observation. But you look like the kind of type if if you're told call time is six, Utafika five fifty. I keep time. You see, <laughs> I know it. I know you have Because I don't like vibe. people making me wait. So why am I making other people wait? Aww. So yeah. Jail story. We have a couple <laughs> of pictures we want you to see on her Instagram page. A couple of photos. A couple of for examples of the magic that she does. That is a special effect. So remember at what platform? Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. So maybe let's continue the conversation and then they'll project it on the screen and we can expound a little further. Mm -hmm. Where is the place you traveled that your job took you that you never thought you'd be? Um, well, so far, just UG, but... Just UG, that people have never left Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can just say Uganda, mm -hmm. um, but I'm hoping to get other jobs that are out of Kenya, mm -hmm. because working in Kenya sometimes can demoralize you. Why? Because of just the pay, like that's also one of the problems I encounter in my career. 
like people want a job well done, but they don't want to pay for that job. Mm, they want so to pay you with exposure. Not even expo. Okay, me that exposure thing. I don't <laughs> like. I'll hang up. <laughs> the conversation will not continue after I hear exposure or experience or opportunity. Because ah. you, you, you looked for me. I didn't call you. You called me. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm exposed enough. Mm -hmm. The fact hey. that you know yeah. that you, you are the one who actually called me. Like how, how did you find out about me? Mm -hmm. So exposure doesn't work out for me anymore. But they still don't pay my full rates, and that's also a problem. So I'm just hoping to spread my wings mm -hmm. and look for work out of Kenya. When I was in school, a lot of the work that I did was um, very practical. So if maybe we were learning how to design a website, we mm. actually had to design a website. It had actually had to go live. It actually just had to be real and true. And that's how we we're going to be graded. Is that the kind of experience that you had when you were studying special effects? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abu, paint me a picture. Because um, in school, we did a lot of practicals, but then we actually did it on ourselves. <laughs> you can do it on yourself? <laughs> you have to do it on yourself, or you do it on each other, but then most of the time, people just prefer doing it on yourself, because now you, you can take all the time. Because if, you, if you're practicing on someone else, and then you're there taking hours. And they have things. They, they have things. They're tired. Also, you now you have to change. Mm. Then they work on you as well. So it's just easier to just do it on yourself. Spend hours <laughs> and perfect it. But then the funny thing is, even in my class, mm -hmm. right now, everyone else dropped special effects. I'm the only one who continued. Why? <laughs> I have no idea. I think it's just me and maybe some other lady from Zambia. Mm -hmm who is still continuing with the special effects, but everyone else 